Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I am Stormrunner Gaming, and today I have a couple advanced boats here, a couple advanced speed boats here, and I'm going to see which one of my top five here is the fastest out there. And the first one I've got here is by Jeb Sanders, who actually did just join my Discord community. But yeah, this is a boat I have looked at before uh, quite a bit, actually, and I reverse engineered his system here with the, um, the part jet engine that creates power and this is a very fast boat but uh, one thing I want to do real quick just to keep a level playing field between all the top five boats I have picked up here I'm gonna take the value that they're running for speed and make it equal to the um, equal to the regular number that is coming out of there so we don't have any differences and of course if you guys do want to pick up any of these boats I will leave all five links down below and I have I, I believe this one is a pretty good contender other ones might be a bit slower but um, let's turn on that generator and ship power and that is pretty loud as well let me quickly turn that down and we will get going here a speed of well, it hits 62 there but we're hovering anywhere between 48 and 58 so I'd say it, it could probably keep you around 55 on average of the regular speed um, from the output there and that's pretty darn good I mean most of the boats I've built can go maybe 40 ish it is crazy fast and being able to hit that uh, 60 there. So I'd say max of um, maybe 62 here and an average of 55 for this boat. So yeah, but it is a crazy boat and the power consumption is insane, but the amount of power he's making with this boat is also insane as well if you just let it sit here uh, for a little bit he's got four huge batteries and he charges them up in a matter of seconds here maybe like five ten seconds at most but yeah that is um i don't remember what the boat was called i can't remember i guess that's just my memory offshore power boat jet turbine generator there's not actually a, a name to it but eh, that's all fine and dandy i'm going to search through my um creations here real quick let me just find another one here we go this one i don't think is much of a contender but i know it does run and it runs pretty darn fast all things considered let me make sure their speed value is not um, converted into a different value. Fuel, battery, engine temp, RPS, speed. Okay, in meters per second, it's direct drive from that, from the, um, the linear speed sensor. And I'm measuring all of these in meters per second, that's why I'm making sure they're directly from each one and there is um, nothing changing them around. So we'll put this thing up full power. Getting a speed of about 35, and that is a nice plane. 42? 43? That's not bad, all things considered. We have a reverse gear as well, spotlight lights. We didn't have another gear, but I don't think it could take another gear. He's got it perfectly riding on this one, and it looks like he's also got a bit of logic on that spoiler to keep it exactly. This is, um... It's a pretty good boat design to where you don't have to do much to keep it on this plane and I think he's designed it pretty darn well like all things considered with the logic and everything running on there I saw 46 but it looks like we're not going to be getting much more speed out of this thing even though something's happening back there uh alright game I don't exactly know. I don't think it was skiing in Stormworks. Uh, I think that winch is just broken it, but I'm gonna say there's a max of um, 46 for that boat, and an average of around 44, which is still beaten out by the um, offshore power boat. Um, now I've got a couple other crazy contenders here that may be able to beat out um, Jeff Sanders' design. 
And this first one is made entirely of glass, which I mean, I guess makes it lighter per se. I can't even get on the boat. Come on. But this thing has a, a couple of jet engines and is um, crazy powerful as I saw when I was trying to make it work. If I can remember, we need to turn on power, turn on our engines. Oh, I actually didn't see um, battery right fuel speed. Let me go make sure our speed isn't changed by anything real quick. Isn't converted into a different um, a different number. No, it's direct drive straight from the linear speed sensor. All right, out a bit of waste of time. English. Anyway, let's jump aboard and take off. And this thing does have a couple of jet engines, but I think it uses the type of um, like half jet engine type of thing. Yeah, it's using the half type of jet engine thing, the one from uh, Jeb Sanders. I don't know if he was the first one to create it, because now we're seeing a couple of different boats with the design, but it's using about the same design here. But let's give it power, and I'm going to change it today real quick. There we go. And we have ignition. One, two, three, and four. And let's put all the clutches in. Because once you get this thing a bit of power, it'll go. Getting a speed of 26. And this is a much more manual drive type of boat than the, um, the last two. You have to be very careful on how fast you're going with it. Yep! <laughs> you have to be very careful indeed. I think this thing has the potential to go very fast. It's just probably not with me uh, behind the wheel. I'd actually like to see how fast it goes and if I can get it uh, working here. Watch, there'll be a full reel of um, me messing this up video here while I'm talking. Actually, I might be wrong, guys. Real quick while I'm thinking about it. Um, I think this design actually does use um, the... Holy cow. It doesn't use the power output from the small uh, jet engines, but it actually uses um, the turbine power to run the propellers themselves off the boat. I'm trying to nurse it onto a plane here, and it's actually gone pretty fast. We got 35 out of it. Why are we losing power? Are we out of fuel? No, fuel right and left says. Oh, I guess I turned off the PID controller. Okay, now we're going, and now we're not. Uh, I saw 40 in there, and now it's a negative 20. Yeah, so I can't really drive this boat. Um, if anyone else out there actually has some skill in driving speedboats like this one, and um, you can get it up to a quick speed, tell me, but... Um, yeah, I can't get it up very fast yet. Um, there's a red speedboat and a red speedboat 2. I'm now just realizing I have two different versions of them, which is interesting. And um, another boat I've got here is actually one I believe somebody built for um, New Jersey, or MRN Jersey, some of you may know him by. Which it's got three jet engines and six huge exhausts on the end of it. So it should fly, quite literally fly. And let me see if I remember, um, turn on power of course, jet engine fuel pumps, PID switch, and then power. There we go. We're already going. Oh, that's knots we're going in. I'm going to say 118. 120. Okay, I think that's a different speed. But it is going, and I'm surprised how stable that is. That's crazy stable. And... Oh! <laughs> I said something. You see, guys, what happens when I say something about a boat? It's, it's working perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden I say something and 
it, uh, it, yeah, it just goes downhill from there. So speed knots value display goes to this function right here. And it's times 1.9. So let's make it times 1 and see how fast this boat is actually going. Use this little ladder. It's not too bad to fire up, and maybe if I wasn't like destroying the throttle they're going as fast as humanly possible it might have been controllable in turns but all right let's get her started up we have ignition at 80 percent power we're getting 65 of them, or 67 as a max there and we're going 61 63 we're getting an average around 62 Give it a bit more throttle. I'm not getting much more speed out of it. I saw a high of 69, 74. Oof. I think they're giving uh, Jeb Sanders a run for his money here. But what is keeping this thing so level? Is what I don't know. Is it just those things on the back of it? Holding it down? Because we're getting a speed of, of around 62 on average meters per second. I believe this is the it's like a drag racing boat though. Uh, there goes our fuel. But that is crazy. I was 74. I wasn't even looking at it. We're getting a little bit shallow here, but this looks like the fastest boat to date in the advanced boat due to the um the huge amount of thrust from those jet engines. And I I believe it is extremely eco-friendly. No sarcasm there. Let's take that back to workbench. Let me find my fifth and final boat, but it has some competition with the um, with uh, Jersey's boat here. And the last and final build here, we have a jet boat that's like skimmed down just to two jets powering it. And we have a linear speed sensor over here. I'm checking the values real quick. We've got a function value that multiplies it by 3.6. What? What unit of measurement multiplies it by meters per second times 3.6? Is that miles per hour? I'm probably wrong on that. Don't take, don't quote me. Uh, open sesame. Oh, I mean, I knew that. Uh, uh, go. Oh, it's revving up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I knew that as well. That looks crazy though. If it can keep itself on a decent plane or stable, I need to give it power. Okay, I guess we need to just hold that button in. Uh, we're getting... Was it 32 on average? And we're getting a lot of lag as well. Well, probably just... Yeah, 32 on average, though. That is nowhere close to the 62 average from the, um, the New Jersey boat over there. 31, uh, dipping into the 29s. I saw 33 there for a second for a max speed, but we're hovering around 32 for an average. It's pretty, a, still a pretty darn fast boat, but... I mean, for the size, you'd think it'd go a bit faster with some jet engines on it. Maybe if you added a couple of jet engines or something to it. Because, I don't know, 32 is, like, it's not slow at all. But, I mean, the, um, the journey egg gets up to 33. So, this and that are at the same exact speed. Which is kind of crazy considering how big the journey A is. It's, it's a mid-sized ship. It's not supposed to be super fast, but it is pretty darn fast. But yeah, I think we have to crown that um, the drag racing uh, jet boat king fastest right now. Of course, if you guys want any of these, I did leave. I will leave all the links down below in the description in the links tab. But if you guys have found something that's faster than the um, the jet speed boat example here. Um, this boat right here with a crazy amount of power on it uh, leave a comment down below or you can come and join the discord and tell me about it or send me a link to it or whatever on there but yeah 
I, I think this one is the victor of it. Yeah, guys, that is all the time I do have for Stormworks today. So, of course, if you guys uh, did like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great at goodbyes, but people need me, and I need to go.